All right, Eric, I see you're in there. You hear us? Everything good? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. All right, perfect. Uh, we will uh, get going here then with the first question to uh, Lance Lysowski. Oh, there we go. Hi, Eric. Lance Lysowski from the Buffalo News. I guess I should say welcome to Buffalo in some ways, and thanks for doing this. Uh, first off, how would you describe your emotions what, when you hear the news? And did the situation you're going to, you know, specifically, you know, a Sabres team that hasn't made the playoffs in nine years, did that really contribute to some of the emotions you were feeling right off the bat? Um, well, I think just the the initial shock of everything um, was was the the biggest emotion I felt and and we felt. Um, you know, it's been it's been a great fit here in Minnesota for, for me and for my family. Um, we, uh, really integrated well and, and not only, um, you know, on the rink for me, but you know, my kids and, and my wife and, and to me, that's, that's my most important thing. So, uh, when you get kind of that news, you know, pretty much out of the blue, it kind of throws you for a little bit of a loop, but, uh, we've been able to process here a little bit more over the last, uh, two days or so. And, um, you know, we're still got a lot to sort out and figure out, but, um, you know, it's something that, um, you know, is a change, but, um, we, we're, we can adapt to change and we can, um, you know, move forward and, and that's what we're going to do. And we're excited about, uh, the opportunity and the challenge, uh, that's ahead. Hey, Eric, John Warrell with the Associated Press. Um, I've got two questions. Um, um, one, one actually about the news that just came out of Minnesota. But first off, welcome um, to Buffalo in some ways. Um, just wondering, at, this, at, at, at your age, I mean, how much is it difficult to, well, how, how do you get your mind around adapting to the new challenge? And how much does it help that Kevin Adams, a guy you're very familiar with, is, is is here in Buffalo as the GM? Yeah, I mean that's that's been uh, you know a very 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 large factor. I mean I've gotten to know Kevin really well, um, you know over a number of years. He was very good to me as a young player in Carolina. Uh, was at his house numerous times as a young guy, and um, you know we we just got along really well. Um, so uh, when he became general manager there in Buffalo, I sent him a note, just you know wishing him the best and. Um, knowing that he would succeed and do well, um, little did I know he'd be trading for me in a m two months. But um, you know, it's uh, you know, it's been. I haven't talked to him a lot. Uh, it's been pretty whirlwind here the last two days. But definitely, um, you know, being able to play for him and knowing the type of character and person he is um, is important to me. And um, you know, it's it's definitely uh, a different situation. Um, than you know than where I have been um, but you know I am getting to the later stages in my career and I understand that's you know sometimes how things go and um, you know it's a new new opportunity and um, I'll be ready for it. And and just the news about Saku um, uh, the Wild announced that they're not um, re-signing him um, today uh, today just a few a few minutes ago as a matter of fact just what your thoughts are about what where that team is. Just what your thoughts are about that and how um, things are going there. Well, at this point, it doesn't doesn't really matter what I think. Um, <laughs> to be honest, uh, for me, I'm in a, a new new situation and a new spot. Uh, Miko was was a, a good teammate to me. Um, obviously, he had a phenomenal career, especially here in Minnesota. He's um, you know, uh, been an integral part of, of this organization here for, for a long time and, and had, uh, you know, has had a great career. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I wish him the best in, in whatever he decides to do uh, with his future. But um, as far as everything else goes, um, uh, the way it all happened was a little bit, uh out of the blue shockish for, for me and for my family, but, um, that's, that's sports. That's how some things go. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out and navigate as we go. So, um, um, I'm not, uh, going to stress or worry too much about uh, the decisions that, that they make moving forward.
Hi there, Eric. Uh, Adam Benini, WGRZ Buffalo, the NBC station here. Um, I guess my question, I know it's been a lot to take in over the last couple of days, as you have said, what do you know about the Sabres? Um, you know, with Jack Eichel, that sort of thing, the situation they've been in, some of the young talent that has been slow to develop and what impact can you make uh, as a center behind Eichel here? What do you see when you look at this lineup? How close is it and how much of a difference do you think you can make at this stage of your career? Yeah, hopefully I can be impactful. I mean, that's the plan. Um, you know, it's, I, I don't honestly know a lot uh, about the team in general. I've been in the West for the last four years, so it's tough when you're in a different conference. You don't really, um, you know, play that team. You only play them twice a year, so you don't really get a very good feel about who they are, what they are. But I know they've got a lot of talent. I know, obviously, Jack is elite. Um, there's uh, there's also um, skins who I've played with in Carolina. There's there's guys there that um, you know are competitive and, and great players. Um, for me, I think I'm just going to try and be myself coming in, um, and and then hopefully as a group we can just develop that. I mean that team atmosphere, that um, that desire to win and compete every night. And um, I think if you can collectively gel and, and be a group like that, tighten it, um, you'll find success. I think confidence goes a long way, especially for younger players. And if we can, you know, get that confidence up in all these young guys early, um, I think we can do, you know, a lot of very good things. And, um, you know, I'll just try and, you know, shepherd some of that along as I, um, as I get integrated with the group. But, uh, for the most part, I'll, I'll be myself and, and uh, be a pro and, and, you know, push guys to, to compete every night and, and uh, have success to try and win. That's, that's the biggest thing. That's why we play. Hi, Eric. Bill Hoppe, uh, Times Herald. Uh, you've maintained a lot of consistency over your career. When you went to Minnesota, you, you found that, uh, that level, that, you know, elite level again. Why did you, why did you fit so well with the Wild, and what helped your, your your career kind of take off again when you went there? Well, I mean, there's there's a lot of factors. I, I um, you know, I had been in Carolina for a very very long time, and and um, to be honest, to the later part of my time there, uh, we just weren't very good, and and that's that can weigh on you as a player. You don't ever, you know, you won't ever. I don't ever. I'm not the person to bash, you know, players or teams, but the reality was we, we weren't a very good team. And when I came to Minnesota, it was a team that was established and um, very good. And I just, just plugged in. And when you plug in on a, on a very good team, um, you know, that confidence and excitement for the game came back really quickly for me. And um, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a good group of guys that, uh, made me feel welcome and um you know now um you know a couple of years again later um at you know winding down to the later part of my career this is uh, another challenge for me that um you know i think is exciting and there's uh like i've been saying there's some talent there in buffalo there's some younger players coming up there's uh things to be excited about um i think it just needs to develop and that confidence needs to grow and um I think uh, I can just try and be a, a part of helping that along and, um, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully find success uh, earlier rather than later. Hi, Eric. John Vogel with The Athletic. Uh, welcome. Uh, the one thing here the last few years, obviously, Jack didn't have a lot of help down the middle. When you look back on, your, on the good teams you've been on, how important was it to have two or three centers and be strong down the middle to lead to success? Yeah, the center ice position is uh, is very important. Um, you know, I, I think uh, most you know teams that uh, are successful have that. Um, you know, but to me, the biggest reason for success is uh, is a team playing like a team. You need you need everybody. You need um, not just guys up the middle. You need commitment from your whole lineup and uh, from the goaltender to the D. I mean, it's it's cliche and boring to say but you don't win unless you're you're a team that's tight-knit and committed to success especially in this league it's too it's too hard it's too close there's it's too competitive the biggest thing is is having your group committed um to 
you know, finding success together and, and leaning on each other and believing in each other. And, and, um, you know, I think, uh, you always strive for that. It's just the, the, obviously the teams that win the championship at the end of the year really end up doing that. And, and that's, uh, that's a goal that you, you try and, um, help be a part of. And, and that's what I'll try and do when I, when I come to Buffalo. Hi, Eric. It's Sarah from the Star Tribune in Minneapolis. How are Hi. you? Good. Thanks for doing this. I just had a couple questions. Um, you know, you mentioned kind of out of the blue, even with all the kind of turnover that's been going on lately with the team, it still came as a surprise. Like, how, how did you find out? Uh, yeah, it, uh, well, I think with the, you know, with the rumblings with Miko and uh, I just kind of felt like, uh, I, I knew it was a possibility, I, I guess I should say. I mean, obviously, I just thought that the, the year would start and, and we'll see how the year goes. And if if uh, they wanted to move on, maybe it, it would be a deadline type thing. Um, so I, I guess that's more along the lines of why it felt a little bit out of the blue. Um, but, I, I yeah, I was just at home here in Minnesota, um, outside actually by myself, and Bill had called and – I hadn't talked to him since the season ended, so um, I thought it was just more along those lines as the end of the year stuff. But he informed me he traded me, and um, it was brief, um, and that was that. Before I ask my last question, I just wanted to thank you again for all the time and help you provided us in Minnesota and me in particular over the years. Um, but what was most meaningful or what will stand out the most about that chapter of your career. Um, obviously some big milestones were accomplished in that sweater, but what will you cherish the most from those years? Well, well, I think coming here initially the first year was, um, you know, shoveling off the pond behind my house and having an outdoor rink for my kids. That was the, I mean, that, that cool feeling of being out on the ice uh, outside and, and kind of bringing back that uh, memory of me as a kid skating outdoors and being out there with my kids. I think that was, um, that was the number one thing I'll, I'll, I'll remember. Um, and then obviously just on ice was, was awesome with, uh, you know, the, the types of teams that we had here and, and, um, the guys that, you know, kind of let me be me and I fit in nice and obviously found success, went to a couple all-star games. Um, you know, a, a lot of uh, milestones um you know there's a lot of memories that uh, you know I'll I'll keep uh, for a long time um you know but I think that biggest thing was just that excitement and that passion that um you know maybe had faltered a little and um you know I got that back just you know shoveling out the rink <laughs> Hi Eric it's Mike Seisberger from nhl.com good to see you again Hi Mike uh, how you doing uh, just wondering, I mean, you play, you were talking about shepherding, uh, you know, some of the younger players, but you played from, I think from 2010 to 16 with Jeff Skinner. You had a great year two years ago. Last year was a down year. Do you think you can help him on or off the ice because you know what he's good at and you know, you know, like any player where he needs work and, and just there's about talk a little bit about the comfort factor there. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I mean, Skins is um, is a an elite talent. His his skill set is um, um, unique. I think his ability to find pucks in tight areas around the net. Um, he's very strong. He's committed to his craft. Uh, he's uh, he's a fun guy to watch. He's entertaining. Um, so I hope I can help. Um, you know, I've I've gotten to know him very well. Obviously, with our time in Carolina, he. Uh, um, I think, I hope last year was, a you know, a little bit of an anomaly for him. I, I think he's going to be counted on for a lot. And, um, you know, I think for, for me, it's just, you know, along with not only just Jeff, but all the guys there is, uh, be a good teammate and, and try and, um, help us, you know, become a team together. And, and if, if you do that, you know, individually, individuals will find success and, and, uh, you'll be going in the right direction. So. Um, it'll be fun. I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, to seeing him again and, um, you know, sharing the ice with him. Here in, uh, hey, Eric, Greg Voris from Spectrum News here in Buffalo. You, you've mentioned, you know, how you can help some of the younger guys. You were a high draft pick with high expectations. 
Dylan Cousins is now in those shoes with Sabres fans wanting a lot out of him soon. Now that you're 35 and gone through a great career, a guy like him specifically, how do you think you can help him being a youngster who has, you know, a big plate in front of him? Well, I mean, I think f f the number one thing I know that helped for me was, um, you know, watch, watch these guys that have had careers of 15, 16, 17 years and see what they do. Um, when I came in, I watched uh, the Rod Brindamore, Corey Stillman, Ray Whitney, Brad Hedekin. These guys have made, made 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 year careers out of um, their time. And, and as a young player, you, you, you watch what they do just to try and, you know, have that success. So, um, you know, I think for, for me, it's just being a sounding board. Um, if he's got questions, um, it's, it's about coming to the rink, being a pro and being prepared, um, um, having fun, enjoying it. Um, you know, just all those, all those things that, um, I know I'll do just because that's, that's who I am. And, and I'll, I'll enjoy just being there, um, you know, with the, with the guys and, and playing a game. It's, uh, there's nothing better. So, um, you know, I think those, those things you learn and, and the, the younger guys will, will, uh, you know, be able to pick up on their own, hopefully. And, um, that, you know, you're always there as support for, for any teammate. Hi, Leith Dunnick here with uh, Thunder Bay Source and TVNewsWatch.com. Eric, have you uh, had a chance to talk to Carter Hutton, a uh, fellow Thunder Bay player who is uh, on the Sabres about sort of what the environment is like with the team, what the atmosphere is like, what the city is like, that sort of thing. And then beyond that, have you thought beyond this year to free agency? Uh, I've only exchanged texts with, with Hutts. Uh, I haven't talked to him. Um, I've exchanged some texts with uh, – you know, a couple different guys and, um, spoken with, um, with Kevin and, uh, and Ralph, uh, but, um, nothing, nothing too in depth. Honestly, it's been pretty whirlwindish the last couple of days, it's just kind of wrapping my head around everything and, you know, f f sorting through it all with, with my wife and my boys. And, um, so I'm, I'm sure that'll, that'll happen more in the coming days. Um, obviously not knowing when the next season is going to start. We, we've got some time to sort through some things and, uh, but it was good to hear from, from him for sure. And, um, and, a, and a few of the others. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, those things will happen as far as free agency goes, uh, haven't given it a ton of thought, uh, yet. I mean, it's, uh, on the horizon, but, um, you know, I'm taking this a uh, little by little and we'll see you know, how this goes in, in Buffalo and, and, um, you know, we'll kind of go from there. Hey, Eric, Alex Brasky with the Batavia Daily News. What are your impressions of the city of Buffalo? You obviously already gave your impressions to the team, but what are your impressions of the city? Uh, well, I know it's a passionate hockey fan base. Um, obviously playing there in 06 in the conference finals, uh, you know, we, our hotel was, I think, right near downtown and these streets were just packed with people uh, every night, um, you know, during that run uh, for them. So I know the, the fan base there is very passionate. Obviously, it's been a difficult number of years for, for the group, but they've got um, some good young pieces and things to be excited about. Um, it just needs to kind of fit a little bit better and come together. Um, but as far as the city, um, I mean, I know a lot of guys that have played there and a lot of guys that, um, you know, have spent time there and speak highly of it. Um, there's a lot of guys end up retiring and staying there. Um, so, uh, positive things and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, looking forward to, you know, seeing the arena and, and, you know, just getting comfortable with kind of everything, uh, as we move forward. Hi, Eric. Uh, Joe Yarden, writer for Hire here. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the team. Uh, wanted to ask, between to kind of piggyback off of uh, Mike Zeisberger's question about playing with Jeff, what's different about your game from when you played with him in Carolina to now? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I, I've obviously got a lot more experience. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in my skin and what I can uh, do on the ice. Um, I, 
but I have, you know, similar, similar mindset, skill set to, you know, what I've been over my career. I, I contribute offensively and, um, you know, can play at both, en both ends of the rink. Um, you know, I just uh, love to compete and love to see um, success out of the group and, and individuals. And, um, but, uh, you know, I don't feel like I've, I've changed a whole ton as a player. I think confidence, even for me, uh, over my time is a big thing. If I can get rolling and feeling good about my game, I, I can go on a good long stretch and 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 be successful offensively. Um, it's you know it's when it's not clicking, it's making sure that you're doing the other things that you need to help uh, your team win. And and um, you know that's always those things that you're working towards every single day. And um, but as far as a player. Um, you know, I've tried to adapt and adjust as the game's changed um, over the years. Uh, and I uh, feel like I've done a decent job of that over the last four years here in Minnesota. Eric Adam Benini, WGRZ Buffalo. Again, kind of right along those lines. Um, how productive, you know, obviously you've been productive. How productive do you feel you can still be uh, at this stage in your career? Um, because people will question, you know, let's say 35, 36, and age becomes a question relative to productivity. What's been the key for you, and, and how do you see that issue moving forward? I mean, hopefully it's not an issue, but it's it seems to be always kind of be talked about uh, in this line of work. But I mean, that's kind of you know how how it how it goes. Um, I, you know, I still feel great. My body feels good. I'm I'm excited. Uh, every single time I, I go to the rink and, and, and compete. Um, you know, I, I think, um, you know, in the right situation, um, you know, I can still be an offensive contributor and, and um, help my teammates around me be better. Uh, I've you know, had success over the last uh, four years uh, here, um, you know, being a contributor, being one of those go-to guys offensively. And uh, I always seem to um, in my opinion, find a way. And, and um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, continues on and, and doesn't change. Um, you know, I haven't talked to, to Ralph or, or Kevin too much about role or, or where they see me in the lineup, but um, you know, I'll just try and be me and, and um, find a way to produce and, and be, uh, be a help to, to us winning games. Hi, John Vogel with The Athletic again. I'm just curious, since you mentioned you talked with Ralph, what impression did you get from him? Uh, it was good. It was a good chat. Um, you know, it wasn't, it was, it was pretty brief, but, um, you know, it was, uh, I've met him actually uh, before at uh, the Olympic camp um, for the, I think it was the 2014 Olympics uh, that summer before I, I talked to him there. Uh, and uh, I, th I believe I've I've skated at a camp with his son uh, a number of years ago as well. So I, I mean I I've uh, I've met him before. He's got a uh, a good presence, and it was a great conversation. And he's you know committed and excited about um, you know bringing along this younger group and and having me along uh, join with. So um, it was a good good talk. I'm sure we'll we'll communicate more here in the next while um, and what he expects, but. Um, I look forward to working with them. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your questions today. And thank you, Eric, for taking the time to, to meet everybody. Hope everybody has a great weekend. All right. Thanks, guys.